It's mine. A Fable by Leo Leone. Published by Scholastic Incorporated. It's mine. In the middle of Rainbow Pond, there was a small island. Smooth pebbles lined its beaches, and it was covered with ferns and leafy weeds. On the island lived three quarrelsome frogs named Milton, Rupert, and Lydia. They quarreled and quibbled from dawn to dusk. Stay out of the pool, yelled Milton. The water is mine. Get off the island, shouted Rupert. The earth is mine. The air is mine, screamed Lydia as she leaped to catch a butterfly. And so it went. One day, a large toad appeared before them. I live on the other side of the island, he said, and I can hear you shouting, It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, all day long. There is no peace because of your endless bickering. You can't go on like this. With that, the toad slowly turned away and hopped through the weeds. No sooner had he left that Milton ran off with a large worm. The others hopped after him. Worms are for everybody, everybody, they cried. But Milton croaked defiantly. No, this one, it's mine. Suddenly, the sky darkened and a rumble of distant thunder circled the island. Rain filled the air and the water turned to mud. The island grew smaller and smaller as it was swallowed up by the rising flood. <gasps> the frogs were scared. Desperately, they clung to the few slippery stones that still rose above the wild, dark water. But soon, these too began to disappear. There was only one rock left, and there the frogs huddled trembling from cold and fright. But they felt better now that they were together, sharing the same fears and hopes. Little by little, the flood subsided. The rain fell gently and then stopped altogether. But look, the large rock that has saved them was no rock at all. You saved us! You, you saved, saved us. us! Shouted the frogs when they recognized the toad. The next morning, the water had cleared. Sun rays chased silver minnows on the sandy bottom of the pond. Joyfully, the frogs jumped in and, side by side, they swam all around the island. Together, they leaped after the swarms of butterflies that filled the air. And later, when they rested in the weeds, they felt happy in a way they'd never been before. Isn't it peaceful, said Milton. Isn't it beautiful, said Rupert. And do you know what else, said Lydia. No, no what? what, the others asked. It's ours, she said. <laughs>